Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what you felt prior, what you felt during and after. Any way you want to talk about it is fine. Oh. So um, before I was just had a lot of anxiety and a lot of hurt and pain of things that are changing, the transitions that I'm going through right now. It was a lot. Mm. And you were correct on, I hold a lot in. Mm -hmm. I hold a lot in. And people take from me a lot. And I feel that they abuse me when they do that because I have such a big heart. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to take. So she's about to replenish that for you. Yes. So, and you were correcting me being deplenished. It's like, oh, I don't have energy. I just don't feel myself. You know, what can yeah. I do? I eat right. I do whatever I can, but I get here and it's just like, oh. yeah. I get home and then I deal with more situation, mm -hmm. you know, with my family member. And then the loss of my father. Oh, when? When did that happen? December, and I had to go in on the second oldest of the family. And oh, that's really what I felt. That's the, the heart's empty yeah, too. Him. That. Yeah, that's what's going on with your heart. So, be too. Yeah. He um, had my youngest brother to handle everything, but everybody looked to me, you know, wow. to handle the situation. So I did what I could while I was there, and then I couldn't even stay for the memorial because I had to get back. But he was my rock. It took me a long time to find my father and get to know him. Uh -huh. And he called me his good daughter for some uh -huh. reason. Uh -huh. But before he passed, I felt closure because we both said we loved each other. Uh -huh. And that's what I hold on to. Wow. And now I feel like I can release because I haven't really been able to grieve Oh. It's just been one thing after another, after another, after another. It's like, I need to go somewhere. I need to go to the mountains and just scream, holler, cry. Uh -huh. I need the universe. And then my boys came to me, Emery and Keith. Keith is a hummingbird. Oh. And he's flighty and happy. And, you know, he was like that. <laughs> and then Emery was the strong one, you know, he was gangsta. It's like, Mom, you're going to be all right. You know, I'm here. He showed himself to me through um, photos oh, oh. and pictures. Oh, and right. it's going to be all right. Yeah. You know, we're here with you. We're here with you. So, And then to see you today was just like, <laughs> oh, I know something about to happen. <laughs> something about to happen now. So how do you feel now? I feel relieved. Yeah, I feel it. I feel relieved. That I can go on, especially today. A lot um, was happening today. So you feel like some of the tension, on, some of it up. And that was a mm -hmm. really small, small session. Yeah. How about your back? Do you feel like some of the tension out of your back a little bit? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Good. A lot. So Good. Both of you had when the same. When it cracked. Yeah, you heard that. I knew. I was like, oh. That one was new for me. You heard it, Dawn. Her back just started cracking. What the heck? What the heck? like, I was like, all right. But yeah, I felt that release. Yeah. Because it's happened before to me in a recce session with someone else. And I heard that crack. And that was a lot of release for you today. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is dope. This is so dope. I love y'all.